Welcome to our next video. We're talking about return distributions. We're talking about skewness. Look at this, for example, this graph. It is not skewed. It is very centered. Whereas this one is called skewed to the right, or this one is called skewed to the left. Because the peak is not in the center, it is skewed. We can see here skewed to the right is called positively skewed because the number we can compute s sub k is an index, is a number that signifies if there is a skewness or if there is no skewness. So if the number s sub k is strictly superior to zero, it is called a positively skewed distribution whereas if it is strictly inferior to zero, it's called a negatively skewed distribution. Negatively skewed is skewed to the left, whereas positively skewed is a distribution, a return distribution skewed to the right. And now if you have those numbers, 0, 2, 2, 4, 3, 6, 6, 10, 7, 10, we can just compute the standard deviation, as we did in other videos, the standard deviation was was this, 3.399. So we've got this number. This number, S sub k, indicates the measure of skewness. And as we compute it, we have this one. This is the result, 0 0.2547, which means it is strictly superior to zero, meaning that we have a positively skewed distribution. Now, as the sample size m, as the sample size n becomes large, this one could very well approximate our exact result, which means this is the exact result, whereas this is just the approximation of the result. As we consider those numbers within this formula, we get 0 0.1833, which is not that bad. 0 1833 is about 0 0.2547. It is not that exact, but the approximation becomes better um, the larger our sample size n is going to be. That's it about skewness. Thank you for watching.